Hey guys, this is Mad Kids on One, and today I'm going to be showing you something on Set File, which allows you to set um, file attributes on attributes on find, Finder files. Um, and what I mean by this is that Finder um, treats files in a certain way um, that might be different to how the actual operating system would treat them, um, involving specific flags on the file because file permissions not only have who owns the file etc it also has different flags that you can set on the file like is this file hidden is this system file etc and apple has put a nice little terminal command in the os called set file which allows us to set these attributes quickly and efficiently through our own little terminal so first of all you want to open up terminal however you get to it or you can open up your own terminal application but this will work the same in any terminal so now you type set file okay with the capital S and a capital F and if you hit enter it'll show you the help for that um, file so first of all I'm gonna create a file on my desktop and I'm gonna make it hidden so I'm just gonna do a cut here while I make a file okay so now on my desktop I have a file called file right here and I'm just going to make that file invisible. So what you're going to do is type set file with a capital S and a capital I. Okay, space dash A space quote capital V close quote space. Then you want to drag in the file or folder or some folders too. And just hit enter. And now the file's still there on my desktop. It's just gone. And if I create a new tab here and I type CD desktop. I type ls, the file is still there. Right there. So it exists, it just doesn't show anywhere on your desktop. Um, so now I'm going to um, also set this up to so unhide it. You do the exact same command, except the V inside of the quotes is lowercase instead of capital. Um, so that, that way it um, works out. So now I'll hit enter. And so the file is back, it's the same file still zero bytes you okay but um so that's how to hide a file with set file the next thing I'm gonna be showing you how to do is make it locked so that way finder won't let you delete it even if you are the owner of it um, without a password of course um, so now I'll type I'll just type set file space dash a space quote capital L quote close quote space and then you drag in the file or fold it you hit enter so now right here you see next to this file there's a little lock right there next to the file and that means that it's a system file and so I can open it up and edit it but if I type in here I try saving it says file is locked do you want to overwrite and I'll just click don't overwrite but basically it just warns you about that kind of stuff and you delete it it says finders locked. Do you want to move it to the trash anyway? I can click continue, but then if I try to empty my trash, wait, empty trash, it won't let me, and I have to click on the trash bin or use force empty trash through um, terminal. Hold option while clicking empty, and that'll empty my trash. So I'm going to recreate that file on my desktop so I can show you how to unlock a file. Okay, so I've got this locked file here. So if you use a lowercase l instead of a capital L in the same terminal command like I will do right here, um, then simple enough, it's unlocked now. Now say I want to make it so they can't rename the file even if it's locked. Okay, so it's set file space dash a, and I'll just do sudo. You have to do sudo if you're going to make it a system file. And then you drag in the file. Now I'll type my password. Okay, so now you can't rename the file. Now if you make that a lowercase s, you can rename a file. I will also point out that the file has to have something in it. So um, that's how to lock a file, make a file a system file, hide the file. Um, LSV. Um, so now I'm going to just um, show you how to get more information on this command. 
to type man space set file. And the S and the F are capitalized. Now you can use the F key to move down and the K key to move up. And right here under dash A attributes, you can see you can go down and set a custom icon. You can see the system file locks the name. Um, invisible, busy. Um, you can set the date on the file to be whatever you want to trick your friends into thinking you've had a file for longer than you have. Um, get file info will get the info. Here's an example of setting the uh, date. You can set, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so, that is, um, it. You can do, um, E is hiding the extension, um, Located on the desktop with D, and that's to get files on your desktop even if they're not there. Um, whether it has a bundle somewhere, whether it's an alias, or whatever. Um, oops. So you can just press Q to get out of it. So now I'll quit my terminal application. I'll delete this file. Um, and I will point um, one last thing out is that um, set file is a very nice little tool and that you should never trust dates on files again because now all your friends know how to set a date on a file. But that's pretty cool. So uh, thanks for watching Mac Kids in a One. Subscribe and um, goodbye.